Hi, my name is Margarida and welcome a new bullet journal video and welcome to my October plan with me video. And if you hear any sounds, I have constructions outside and I have a school nearby, so I hope you don't hear anything, just for you to know. So let's get into this video and the spreads. So this is my October plan with me video, so you can see me plan my spreads for the month of October. And of course, you can always see my cat here near me while I'll film everything. So the theme that I thought for October is like autumn, autumn vibes, pumpkins, leaves, cinnamon rolls, things like that. So browns, oranges, reds, really autumn colors. I decided to have a gingham pattern on the left side of the spread and I decided to have a, like a Dutch door situation and we'll see what I'll do there. And I wrote October, which means October in Portuguese and I decided to doodle some October or more like autumn related things with a brown pen and then I'll just paint everything with some pens and pencils. So in October or in September, like in autumn slash fall is the same thing, I don't really do this kind of theme like pumpkins or I don't know, mushrooms or really fall fall things like scarves and I don't know, something you can relate to fall leaves falling with browns and oranges i don't really like orange so i don't use orange a lot yeah so i don't really do that for myself for my own bullet journal so i decided to have fun with it and do those some things and really express myself and i was feeling very autumn when i thought of october and I usually don't do spooky themes, I always like to do something different in October, I don't know why. In one year I did like ants for a theme, so that was really fun. I like to use purple in October actually, because it reminds me a little bit of Halloween, but it's not like a ghost theme. I think I've done something with the ghosts, I think it was last year, but it was like magical jars or something. Anyway, I decided to have this autumn theme. So as you can see, I doodled everything and then I have a space for my favorites for the month and a little space for my goals for the month. And I decided to use some stamps because I had some pumpkin stamps and leaves and stuff. And I decided to use it in this Dutch door thingy situation. So I like that I use different medias like stamps and then drawings. I didn't use stickers or washi tape, but maybe I will use it on my weekly spreads. So we'll see. I have this more brownish color stamps, so I thought it would look perfect for this time of the month. And it's just a little bit different because the cover page is so empty. It only has doodles on top and on the bottom. So I decided stamps would be fun, would be a really great idea actually. I'm so sorry if you hear constructions outside. So I decided to paint everything and we'll see everything in this little time lapse. So I will shut up a little bit and you'll see me paint the leaves. Actually, I can tell you what I doodle here. So I doodle some leaves, some pumpkins, some mushrooms, cinnamon rolls, tea mug, an apple, and pretty much it. Most of it were leaves and pumpkins. I also drew a pumpkin pile, just a piece of the pie. So yeah, very fun. In the favorites, like the title of the favorites, it was supposed to look like a scarf. I don't know if it looks like a scarf, but it was my intention that it looked like a scarf. Mm. 
So now for the calendar spread. As you can see, you can see the kingdom pattern in one side of the Dutch store and the stamps on the other side. I think it looks cute. I really enjoyed it and I really enjoy using stamps. So I decided to do a big calendar but not too big, you know? and a little space for my big to-do list for the month and other space for the books that I've read in a month. So I had a little space left so I decided to do some autumn related drawings like a basket with some apples and a pumpkin and some mushrooms. And I used pretty much the same pens, most of them were Ecoline pens but I add a few curl super tips as well. What are you most excited to do in this time of the year? I really like baking in this time of the year and I really like eating cinnamon rolls and I really like lighting candles and read books. That's what I love the most. Let me know what you like the most. Then I had some space, so I decided to write a quote. So I just search awesome quotes or something, and I found this one. I liked this one, so I wrote it. It was simple as that. I just went to the first spread and did some dots and stuff, like little details. I decided the left side was a little bit empty with this calendar spread, so I just put some stamps to complement everything. And now for this next spread, this is my fitness tracker and on the side I have my expenses tracker. And actually, I'm not going to do any more trackers, neither a mood tracker or a habits tracker, because I want to try to track that my weekly spreads. So I was a little bit tired of doing all these trackers in the beginning of the month, and I was a little bit exhausted sometimes by doing that, like so many trackers. I know that it was easier to fill in everything and stuff, but I decided why not just do the trackers on my weeklies and see how it goes. If I don't like it, I'll do something different in the next month. That's the beauty of bullet journal. You can experiment and then if you don't like, you change it. So I decided to give it a go and do my mood tracker and my habit tracker in my weekly spread so everything is going to be weekly. Very excited for that. So my fitness tracker, I had some space on the left bottom corner that I decided to draw some apples, a star anise, cinnamon, orange. This reminds me of this time of the year, mood wine situation, you know? I'm just imagining the fragrance and it looks like very nice. And I decided to write fitness on top to tie everything together. So for the last spread, I just did some big table for my expenses tracker. The left side is for my home expenses and the right side is for personal expenses. Sometimes I don't have space to write everything down, so I wanted something bigger. So I did this flappy thing where I wrote expenses 
and it can be closed so nobody can see my expenses or I can open it like another type of touch door situation So that's it for my October planned review video, I hope you like it, so please follow me on Instagram if you want to see pictures of the spreads, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more journaling content and follow me on all my socials as well and I'll see you in the next video, bye, see you next time.